Mr. Dorfman. Hello. 0 0.2. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Or maybe it is. With Frat House Comedy Neighbors opening Friday, Double Take takes you back to the greatest campus comedy of all time, National Lampoon's Animal House. Dean Wormer's advice to flounder and the rest of the failing members of Delta House falls on deaf ears in the 1978 comedy that starred Donald Sutherland, John Belushi, Tom Hulse, Stephen First, Tim Matheson and Karen Allen, among others. Directed by John Landis and co-produced by Ivan Reitman and written by Harold Ramis, Douglas Kenny, who played Stork, and Chris Miller, who played Hardbar, Animal House was shot on a shoestring and achieved cult status. Reitman and Landis were at the Tiff Bell Lightbox last July for a 35th anniversary screening of Animal House, sharing behind-the-scenes stories, including how John Belushi, the only real star among the younger cast, was the highest-paid human actor. He earned $40,000. Niedermeyer's horse cost more. Animal House made toga parties part of the social calendar and introduced the Isley Brothers single Shout to a whole new generation thanks to the song stylings of Otis Day of the Nights. According to National Lampoon publisher Maddie Simmon, who was also at the reunion, Every day, somewhere in the world, an audience sits down to watch those campus clowns take revenge on Faber College administration and those clean-cut toadies who want to shut the frat down. As for Dean Wormer, John Vernon, who played the scheming administrator on screen, knew from the very beginning that Animal House was destined for greatness. He told Landis, you know, we're making a great film. This will be a classic. That's it for Double Take for this week. For all you need to know about movies, check out the Toronto Star and thestar.com.